good morning everybody it is march 30th 2023 and this is the snowfall update for the storm the storm began yesterday it's supposed to taper off today and we're gonna go check out what has happened and then don't forget when we do the aftermath video we do the whole entire valley uh, just to kind of catch what the totals are everywhere visual totals and to see the what, what, what I coined as the Big Bear snow rule. It's the discrepancy between the amount of snow at the Big Bear Dam compared to Baldwin Lake. Same elevation, seven and a half to eight miles away. It's the other side of the valley, but there's significantly less snow always on the Baldwin side. Significantly less. And a big reason why we go the direction we start the drive headed towards the dam is because um, we try to avoid traffic coming into town so we're going against the grain beautiful right now it's 29 degrees it's about 9 40 in the morning it really is gorgeous out here we do got a little bit more snow coming in probably about 12 31 o'clock i don't know it doesn't seem like it's going to be much just an, just enough falling from the sky to make it really 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 pretty i wouldn't be surprised if we run into some more snow on the drive over here on the route we're headed right now over by the dam as i tell you guys all the time those of you who want to be in the part of town that gets the most snow you, you want to try and rent your airbnb or wherever you're staying um on this side of the village okay but preferably the closer you get to like boulder bay and and even further towards the dam that's where you want to go if you want to be around more snow. There's a chance, even though it's really blue right here, it's just a couple mile drive. It could be cloudy and snowing over there. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome our climate's up here, you guys. everyone's doing great today I haven't responded to any messages from the drive I did at like 3 in the morning that's when it had just just started coming down again um, because when I got back I got back to the to where I'm staying at about maybe 5 o'clock it took so long for the video to upload because I had done something wrong so it took twice as long so I was uploading it till about 5 Got back to where I was staying about 5.30 and then tried to sleep and I got to sleep for about two and a half hours, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna do a nice little drive around the lake. pretty out here wish all of you had had the opportunity to come up here sooner than later to just be around this spectacular spectacular views up here it really is something else that like and subscribe button and, sh and uh, share share these videos with uh, with other people who you think might be interested in 
Southern California mountain weather. I don't know how many people would actually be interested in that, but <laughs> it would help me out if you shared it. A lot, actually. That's where we almost got stuck on the live feed back in there. It's a lot deeper over there, just a couple hundred yards off of this main drag. Fresh, fresh blanket in the snow is just so pretty. Especially when you're driving on the roads because <clears throat> right away all the snow on the edge of the roads here gets like brown and just really dark and nasty looking. soon you guys last year someone fell off of this rock right here you guys and they didn't make it it's just it's just horrible I always see people climbing up there too you guys got to be so careful Passing our our friend uh, Kathy and her mom Gigi. They enjoy watching the channel. They are, I believe, snowed in again. They were snowed in for a few weeks from that last storm, you guys. They're down here on the right. And Gigi really enjoys watching the channel. So thanks, thanks again, Gigi. You are awesome, my friend. And guess what, everyone? Last night I ordered what I needed for my Part 107 license to to fly. So I will be doing our uh, my drone videos like I used to pretty soon here. Because those were so beautiful. I have a really nice drone with just a phenomenal, phenomenal picture on that thing. It's got a Hasselblad camera on it which is like as top of the line as you can get but as I told you guys the reason I stopped doing my drone videos and removed them from the channel is because unfortunately there are haters out there who don't want to see other people's hard work ever pay off and there 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 were there are so so many little things you can get fined for um, by the FAA flying your drone so I just didn't I didn't want to take any chances of being reported for anything dumb obviously flying it for my YouTube channel without a commercial license I guess that is a no-no as well so I didn't want to get in any trouble it's just so beautiful for you guys it's so innocent you know it's it's such an innocent thing Yeah, look, see, we're getting a couple snowflakes out here. I knew it. We're getting closer to the dam. Look, guys, it's completely cloudy over here. <laughs> it's, it's remarkable. It really is. Just a couple miles away. That's it. Blue skies back there. And then this. I guess I didn't have to worry about traffic today. I just thought maybe there'd be a bunch of people trying to trying to maneuver their way up to Big Bear, which is what we want to see. I was hoping to see lines of cars, but we're coming up to some of the big potholes on this 
this part of Highway 18, so we gotta be extra cautious. Keep our eyes peeled because the snow is gonna mask it. I'm telling you guys, that is so pretty right there. Oh my gosh. second right there but we're almost to the lake right here yeah, I'm glad we avoided these potholes because I did not see them because of the snow I think there's, there's another one or two huge ones coming up is so pretty. Yeah, you guys will be stoked on the drone videos. I had probably about 15 to 20 just beautiful drone videos on here, you guys. But as I said, I had to have them removed. But I know you guys will love them. There's the, the dam keeper's old house up there. All right, we have reached the Big Bear Dam. If you keep going straight, you'll be heading out of town. Heading towards Running Springs and Snow Valley Ski Resort. All right, hang on a second. Okay. Now we're gonna get some decent lake views. It's gonna be really, really nice seeing this uh, cloud coverage and the, and the storm kind of moving through a little bit. Seeing the views across the lake, really, really, really nice. A trick that you guys can try to implement when you come into town. Most of you do come into town on that route that we were just on. Obviously driving the opposite direction. When you get to, when you just enter town right there at, at that intersection, if you're stuck in a lot of traffic going straight, just turn left and, and take, take this route all the way till you get to Stanfield Cutoff. Then turn right on Stanfield Cutoff and then you will be basically right where like Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City meet. Fonskin, welcome to Fonskin. Many, many years ago, Fonskin used to be the happening part of this whole town, you guys. There was a bunch of famous people always going up there. It was a, a, a place for the Hollywood stars back then. place is just as much your your home as it is my home even though you don't live here it really is you guys you guys make it a home for me by showing me so much love and coming up here all the time special temperature is 27 degrees
I'll point out the eagle habitat area again for you all. Because we're going to be driving right by our big bear bald eagles. That so many people enjoy watching on YouTube. that way because these lake views are what this drive is all about I know it's not the best views that we can get but we're trying for 10 seconds or less around this this bend coming up which is my favorite part my favorite view from from this drive I always talk about the house that's, that's resting on the corner that I wish I could I could stay there my wife and I could could stay there for a couple nights that would be awesome but yeah we're not we're not gonna be able to pull up to it unfortunately but we're gonna get as close as we can to the edge next to these big snow berms. So it's this kind of greenish blue house right here. You guys wanna talk about a beautiful location. It's right where the lake bends right here. That is something else. guys we are entering the eagle habitat so on the left hand side I'll tell you guys approximately how far up I think the eagles are we're definitely we're definitely here now I always thought that was the tree right there, but I think I think I'm wrong. I don't know how far back in they are, if, if, or maybe it's like a tree that's like rounded at, at the top. Maybe that's it right there. I don't know, but we're at the the eagle habitat, you guys. The e the eagle habitat for humanity. This whole area is off limits limits when i first moved up here i i i didn't even know about the eagle situation and the that channel about them and stuff like that i i didn't know about it until uh, maybe five or six years after i moved here so i've i've only known about it for a couple years and and sadly i used to refer you guys to go sledding over here because it's always so perfect and then someone got really, really mad at me instead of just explaining to me why I shouldn't do that. And once I got explained what the situation is, of course, I stopped referring people there. There are plenty of signs saying like, you need to bounce, don't hang out here. in y'all you 
guys are over here and just want a cute little place to have some breakfast, the North Shore Cafe, and it says it's closed right now. I, I think, I'm pretty certain they're only open for breakfast, but I know a few of you have already gone there because of my referral and that is so cool. Everyone has said that they absolutely loved it. I'm glad to hear that. I'll, I'll never refer you guys anywhere that I haven't eaten. Ever, ever, ever. Because I know you guys already spend a lot of money when you're you're coming up here, and I just I don't want you guys to waste any money. I want you guys to get every penny worth. Captain John's Harbor. Look at that beautiful wood house. Right? That's beautiful. Someday, you guys, someday, my wife and I will have a place on the lake. I visualize it. I feel it deep down inside like I already have it. I work really hard with my regular job. In reality, I, I, I just, I don't ever see YouTube doing enough to to help me live a, a life, but I'm willing to, you know, try. I'm willing to try. So we're gonna get kind of there's no one even close to behind us That is so pretty Man, I'm telling you guys ten more feet and our lakes gonna be full Ten more feet of water. Oh my gosh. Straight across the lake, that's the La uh, Lagunita Lodge. As I've told you guys, that's one of my favorite spots up here. But we've fallen in love with the Marina Riviera, the newly renovated Marina Riviera. It's, it's really, really pretty. Temperature is still hovering around 27 degrees. It's about 10 a.m. And we are exiting the residential area for Fawnskin on North Shore now, heading back towards, uh, we're gonna be going back to Big Bear Lake to the Moon Ridge area. soon we're going to be taking some drives into Holcomb Valley which is back up in there definitely excited to do that can't wait till behind snow summit and bear mountain reopen 
on the 2N10 off-road area. There are so many really pretty, pretty areas to go off-roading, you guys. I mean, just gorgeous. Behind the mountains here on both sides, it's just, it's special. up to 28. Here's the, uh, let's see. We're coming up to the Discovery Center up here on the left hand side. We're going to do a video over there too. beautiful building right there. Big Bear Discovery Center. Ranger stations, mountaintop ranger station. Once again, there's no one back of us, so we're going to just. Oh, now there is. Look at those clouds just resting right on top of Snow Summit in that area right there. Those are moving in right now. As I said earlier in the video, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's aftermath video. To do the complete valley. This time we're not gonna hit up, probably not gonna hit up Shuggy. We're probably just gonna do Highway 38 and, and, and Highway 18, just the real main, main parts of it. Snowflakes again coming down. Alright, so just a quick look at the lake over here with that beautiful blue sky right there. And then look at what we have on this side. We don't usually have, since I've lived here, we don't usually have any water in here and it's a lot. I mean, that is so awesome, you guys. So exciting. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for cruising with me as usual. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Love you guys with all my heart and soul. You guys have made my emotional well-being uh, so much better the love is beyond anything I could have ever imagined the best gift I've received from this channel is is you guys by far and I didn't even take that into consideration when I when I I started this YouTube channel I started this channel guys because I couldn't afford any thumb drives and I thought you know what 
I moved up here so I can live in the snow and, and record the snow. I didn't want to fill up my phone, all of its uh, space. So I thought, hey, you know what? I could put it on YouTube and use YouTube's uh, cloud for free. So I gotta tell you guys, huge, huge blessing. Um, I'm always here for each and every single one of you. I always want you to have the best possible trip that you can up here. Um, because once again, without you guys, I don't get to live here. You guys come up here and, and you guys are the ones who create our economy up here. You guys are the ones who create all the jobs. And seeing your faces, seeing moms, dads with their kids, building snowmen or sledding and just seeing just that, those huge smiles from ear to ear. That's what it's really all about, you guys. Creating beautiful memories with your loved ones and your friends. And they can be lifelong memories up here. So thank you guys. If you like what I'm doing, if you see how hard I actually work at this, if you could hit the like and subscribe and share the video, I'd be so happy, you guys. It really helps a lot. It doesn't take much to do that. And I promise you, you'll be helping a good person. Thank you guys a bunch. And once again, have a wonderful rest of your day. It's March 30th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. Passing my favorite classy restaurant in Big Bear. Love you guys a lot. Take care.